Hi, I'm Mike Vimer, CTO and co-founder of Bot Objects. This is the first of my video series, um, which I really wanted to get involved with myself to make sure that you guys were getting the most out of your ProDesk 3D and the Pro Model software. So through the series, we're going to be looking at slicing of the models, the colorizing of the models, and then later in the series, we'll move on to some more advanced features. Uh, but for now, we, uh, we're going to start at the beginning. Um, this machine has just come out of the box. Uh, we're going to carry on um, looking through the rest of the unpacking and then connecting up and getting the first print done. So, hope you enjoy the series. Let's get printing. Okay, so the first thing you'll see when you open the exterior box is the unpacking instructions. Now, it's really, really important to follow these unpacking instructions carefully to avoid doing any damage to your ProDesk 3D. So, once you've had a chance to review the unpacking instructions and you understand them, you can move on to the next stage. Now, well, while the printer's in its external packaging, uh, you'll see a foam cap that goes on top of the, uh, the lid of the printer. So what you want to do is remove that foam cap and then this is what you'll see um, inside the printer. Remove the top cap of the printer itself and then inside you'll see the, uh, the rest of the internal foam and also the warning stickers that warn you not to pick up the ProDesk 3D with these bars. And that's really important, it's detailed on the unpacking instructions. Um, but I also want to make a point of it here that if you lift with these bars, they'll bend and, and you'll render the printer uh, inoperable. So very important not to bend these bars. Now where you can lift up the printer out of its exterior packaging is by the frame itself. The frame's coloured in white um, and you can safely lift the printer up by these, uh, the, this part of the frame. Um, now we recommend doing this with two people because the printer is rather heavy. Uh, so if one of you gets on one side and then the other on the other side and then actually lifts out of the exterior packaging with this frame. You won't do any damage to the printer. Now if you carry on and remove the warning stickers um, going over the top bar on the printer, you can put that to one side and then open the door and start removing the internal foam from the printer. Uh, so first of all you want to remove this, uh, this top section here. You pull that out, that can slide across. And then you'll see you've got the, uh, uh, the power cable and the USB leads in this centre section. So remove that and then you can unpack the power lead um, and the power block and the USB leads. Next you've got a couple of other labels that you want to remove and this is the warning stickers that warn you that this is the, uh, the hot zone um, for, the, for the printer bed itself. So this gets quite hot um, so you want to remove that sticker having noted that it is a hot zone. Uh, you've also got a sticker on here warning you that the extruder is going to get hot. So uh, remove that sticker before printing. Next what you want to do is remove this lower part of the packaging material and just slide that out from underneath the build platform. So that's all of the packaging removed. You can now go ahead and put the top cap back on the printer and begin printing. And there it is with the top cap replaced. Okay, so having now removed all the internal packaging material, we can uh, connect the printer up to the computer and turn it on. So once you've connected the power supply up and the USB to the USB port of your computer, then switch it back, turn that on, and the printer will come on and you'll see the front display displaying the current printer status. So the next stage is to connect the printer to the software, launch the Pro Model software, and click the connect button in the software. That will then turn the printer on itself, turn the lights on, turn the fans on, and you can start heating up um, in preparation for a print. Now there will be further videos in this series going into much more detail into the software, um, how to use the Pro Model software, uh, but for this overview we're just going to set the temperature to 190 for the main extruder head um, and 55 for the bed. So set those temperatures, the printer will then come up to temperature the colour mixer will actually turn on automatically by itself when it reaches the correct temperature, um, as will the fans, they come on once you reach the 190 degrees temperature. So the printer is now up to temperature and we can start with the print. In future videos we will go into much more detail on the slicing of files. Uh, for now I've just loaded in the STL file of the Make Robot. Um, the software will then automatically look for a pre-sliced file um, if I've previously sliced that make robot, um, which I have, so it then loads the robot in itself. And then from here I can colorize the model. And you can see just by clicking on a color, 
in the left hand colour picker menu you can set the various colours for the Make Robot. So I've set the colours now and we're ready to print. Now the first time you actually go to print a file um, after having just turned the printer on, the build platform will go through a self-leveling routine to make sure that your prints are perfectly level and that your platform is perfectly level. So once you click print, it goes through the routine and then the prints that you do for the rest of the day, um, as long as you haven't turned the machine off and on again, will then not require the self-leveling procedure. You can manually activate the self-leveling procedure if you've accidentally knocked the platform um, out of level. It's quite difficult to do that, so you shouldn't need to. But every time you turn the printer on, it goes through its self-leveling routine. So I'm going to go through that routine right now and let the printer level itself. printer bed is now level ready for print. Now the platform's leveled what you want to do just before you print for the first time is just prime the nozzle with some filament. In the software you can click the uh, filament controls, set the push for distance for 10 millimeters and push about 40 or 50 millimeters um, for cyan, magenta, yellow and white to prime it. You don't need to prime it with black, um, the black only requires a tiny bit of priming um, because it's such a strong colour. So go ahead and push some filament and start priming the nozzle. And what you're looking for is for the filament to come out um, stringy and not uh, blobby and liquidy. So what we're seeing right now is the, uh, the stringy uh, extrusion coming out, as you can see. And that's what you're looking for. That means the nozzle's primed and ready to go. Now also what you want to do is look for the first colour layer that you've added to your model. In this case, on the Make Robot, we've added yellow as the first colour. So just go and push a little bit more yellow through than everything else so your starting layer is going to start at the colour that you set in the software. So I'm just pushing through a little bit more yellow. Once you've done that, you can then commence the printing by pressing the print button. may have it the printer's printing away straight out of the box uh, with one of the models that we chose and colorized in the pro model software so this is going to take about half an hour to print and make robots so we'll come back in about half an hour and see the progress so as you can see the print's now finished the platform's loaded itself down and both the platform and the main extruder nozzle have cooled down in temperature this also allows for easy removal of the uh, part from the bed so we can take the, uh, the part from the bed and you can see the uh, colorized model from the screen to the print. So I hope you've enjoyed that first session, uh, first video session uh, of many to come. I will be posting many more um, and going into a lot more detail, how to slice, uh, how to get the most out of the, out of the Pro Model software, um, and then also some really exciting things and, and some cool things you can do with the Pro Desk. Uh, check back again here next time, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.